Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me again on this episode. In the last episode, I discussed about uh, daddy issues and how, like my father, I never had a relationship, I never had a, an attachment to him, and which later on went on to affect my relationships. I also discussed about his alcoholism and how I started the road to healing through forgiveness. In today's episode, I'll be discussing other tips that helped me to fully heal from the trauma of my childhood. So prayer, I prayed about it. Yes, I prayed about it. And I think prayer, what prayer does was, is the fact that prayer is not as if God is going to just, there's a miracle, it's just something you just lift from my hand, no, something you just lift from my heart. What I think prayer did for me was, it helped me to be able to identify these issues. Clearly, there was clarity on what the problem was. That was what, one of the things I prayed about. God helped me to identify, to just help me to do the right things and that should help me. I want to heal all my situations, whatever it is, that whatever problems are for me from Father helped me to identify and to overcome them. So those are prayers, the kind of prayer that I prayed. And so prayer didn't really just dissolve the issue. I'm like that. No, prayer helped me to be clear about where the problem is and to be able to find. So I started researching towards it and was able to find out, that, oh, this helps, this helps. And eventually um, the total healing came about the issue. So yes, I prayed. But I was very active early with exercises exercising and I, I, I stumbled on yoga bro if a neighbor of mine had a book the yoga book which i read and from there i started re i started practicing some of the exercises and till date i still do yoga i know breathing exercises all those exercises made me a very active and very um well-built person and so i think those also contributed to uh, my healing I also um, turn to music uh, quite a lot. I listen a lot to music. Music helps to lift my spirit and provide some comfort with those with words, especially particular music that I listen to. I listen to a variety of this music, uh, music that are quite enlightening, music that are cultural, with lyrics that are very meaningful uh, to life. This music really helped me. Uh, to to get over um, whatever childhood trauma that I had. Another thing that I think that helped me heal was staying grounded. And how did I stay grounded was that I like to work with the soil. I keep gardens. I have plants here and there. So I touch the soil with my hands, and I touch my the soil with my feet a lot uh, within my house. I'm, I'm, um, I'm without, I don't wear slippers, I walk around barefooted. I make sure that I'm in connection with the earth. And when I studied this, I realized that it's, it's something that helps healing. It helps, um, it helps overcoming um, situations like this. Uh, so those are things that I think I did subconsciously, some of them. Um, because I now started reviewing it and studying, I realized that those were things I was doing um, intuitively and then they were part of what helped me heal overall. So, um, if you are someone who had childhood trauma like me, if you had abandonment issues, your parents were not available for you and you feel, um, whatever feeling you feel about it, about anything that has happened in your past, in your childhood, is valid. You're, you, you're entitled to feel how you feel. You know, none of them were their fault or none of those situations was your fault. You should acknowledge your feelings about what happened. Acknowledge them. You know, accept them. Doesn't necessarily mean that you feel that they were right to have happened to you, no. Those children, every child, every single child deserves a loving and secure uh, family, a loving and secure and safe space, you know, to grow up in. And if that it didn't happen, it wasn't your fault that it didn't happen. So you need to acknowledge however you feel about it. 
and sometimes you need to be, to be vocal about it. If you can find someone to talk about this with, um, a counselor, a pastor, uh, a friend, a trusted friend, a family member that you trust, that process of unburdening uh, those feelings helps the process to healing and helps you to uh, get over it, offer forgiveness, spoke to the person, the parent that was responsible, and yourself. So affirmations. I also affirm myself there on a daily basis. I, I regularly talk to myself about what, what I am. I am beautiful. I am, I am phenomenal. I am awesome. So I talk to myself about what I know I am. I know that these are these attributes, these qualities are present in me. I know that God lives besides fully inside of me, not partially. So I have God within me. I am, you know, I have integrity, I, and um, so I have those affirmations are very helpful to healing or to just building confidence uh, in in yourself. And also take good care of my health. I take good care of my. I, um, like I said in another video. Um, when it comes to health, anything health, I'm always interested. Healthy eating, but I've not been I've tried the keto diet or any diet. Mm -mm. I just care to ensure that I'm having a well balanced diet and regular exercises. Even if I do not exercise, I make sure I'm active within the home and doing stuff. So I sleep well. I've never really had problems with sleeping and um, I reduce stress from my life, all oh, stress. I do not want stress um, at all. You know, when I start to feel stressed, I don't feel well. I don't feel well. When people are giving me stress, I want to leave that space. You know, I don't want to stay in an environment of stress. I'm hoping that this video um, helps someone who um, grew up with any form of childhood trauma. It could be abandonment, it could be alcoholic that it could be uh, sexual abuse, it could be any form of trauma that you may have had in your past. And I'm hoping that this video shed a little light into how you can heal because this is how um, I healed and um, I'm whole. And those events of my past i've accepted that they happened i'm not in denial of what happened in my life but i accept them that period of my life um, is not totally what defines me it's not going to be uh, something that it's those are not my de definers they don't define me i am responsible for defining who i am so i'm defining myself right now even as i'm um, doing this i'm defining that i'm i'm balanced i am safe i am worthy of love and i give love fathers live young fathers my friends you don't want your children to uh, be doing this kind of videos when they grow older you want to be available to them you want to love them, you want to hold them, you want to love their mothers. And even if there is misunderstanding, you want to make sure that you resolve those misunderstandings. You want to ensure a balanced family, a balanced children, a balanced home, and um, well-adjusted children. Who are able to lead life more, with more confidence. And so young fathers, I am hoping that this video will re-emphasize your uh, role to you, it will um, open your eyes to see the role you play in, in building up your family, in building up your children, both boys and girls, in ensuring they are safe, and that you communicate to them, that you, they have good self-esteem, they are balanced in their life, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, you okay physically and um, that is your responsibility it's not only their mothers who has responsibility for them and your role particularly affects your young ones in a way that even 
you don't understand. So be available and hold them. Pray for them. Be interested in their in whatever they, they're doing, their academics, their interests, be interested. And um, I do hope this video is of help to you. I don't want to make this conversation just only me talking. It's not a monologue here. I want it to be a dialogue. And I'd like to hear from you. I'd like to, to hear your experiences. I'd like to, to hear uh, how this video has helped you in any way. And if it resonates with you in any way. If, it, if, if, if you have direct experiences uh, related to this. Or if you have someone who you know who also had to who pass through this. I really like to make it a dialogue and a conversation that continues even after the video has ended. Um, I look forward to hearing your comments in the comment section down this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share the video with people who you think may need it or need to hear something like this. And, um, and if you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Kindly click the red subscribe button. I make videos every Tuesdays and every Fridays. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.